what are the firsts that they'll find in this building? And by first, I mean things that they will not see in any other NFL stadium in the country. Well, I'd say the beauty of the building, while, while not a first, it's just a gorgeous structure. And when Mark designed it with the architect, David Manica, his, his goal was to, to build something iconic and that belonged in this city's skyline. This is uh, one of the most famous skylines in the world. And you couldn't just build a, a stadium that had no character and no um, artistic value to it. When you get in it, we had the benefit and unfortunately the distinction of going last, meaning that all the other teams have had a chance to build a stadium. And so we've had a chance to see what worked, what we liked and what we didn't like and try to incorporate all of that here. One of the things that uh, some people may not notice is it's very easy to circumnavigate. You can get around the building very easily and that's good for both your fans as well as from an operation standpoint. And then that'll improve speed of service everywhere you go. You start talking about the premium areas. We have nine clubs. So you have a bunch of different areas that people can uh, use the building for at Raider games as well as other events. Uh, and then if you want to talk first, you got to talk about the Wind Field Club, which has obviously gotten a lot of attention. And we've, we've been contacted by almost every team in the league about what the inspiration was behind that and how, uh, how we designed it and how we developed it. And that's going to be a really one-of-a-kind experience for people that get to enjoy that. The club you're standing in right now will provide unparalleled access to the field. You'll be right behind the bench on either the home side or the visitor side, so you'll just be that close. And then when you get a chance to get in here, you'll just see the intimacy of the building. There's really no bad seat. I know they say that everywhere, but we didn't overbuild. It's 62,000 uh, fixed seats, and then there's a couple of thousand SROs. So it has the feel of almost a really large arena from an intimacy standpoint, while also having the size and scale of a football facility. Uh, and I can't imagine how loud it's going to be in here. Right? We've been in some of the dome stadiums, and the, the decibel level is incredible. And then when you mix that with the, the passion of the Raider fans and what you see from the Las Vegas fan, it's going to be deafening. It's going to be a real home field advantage.